All right, ladies and gents, hello, and welcome back from the MLG offices in New York City. Today is Thursday. The current weather is 60 degrees and cloudy with a bit of a breeze. Of course, if you're living in New York, that might be relevant to you. If you're not, I apologize. I don't know what the weather is like where you are. Sorry. Um, I know the weather on the stream, though. Weather it might get a little bit stormy. There's been a bit of... Um, it's been a bit of... There's no, there's no weather joke that relates to Blink Stalkers and Daisy. There's a little bit of springtime. I don't know. Stop. Just stop. We're watching Daisy versus Innovation is next. Game three. I just tweeted an intense tweet. And uh, Innovation versus Daisy. You guys should go retweet that. By the way, I would urge you to check out the website. Also, you can watch on mobile. MLG.tv slash SE2. I know new things are scary sometimes, but um, I'd like to hear your feedback on the on the new player we have rolling out. It's pretty high quality. Again, it's mlg.tv slash StarCraft2. Uh, what you could try to do, you could go to mlg.tv straight up there. It might direct you to Call of Duty right away. That's okay. Maybe you can watch that for a minute. Give that a chance. Call of Duty is pretty cool. And then there's like a tab. There's a bunch of tabs at the top. This is Dota 2. This is StarCraft2. Go click over to StarCraft2. Do me a favor. Type something in the, in the chat there. I want to see how that works. It's, it's a new little chat format. Um, already have a couple guys chatting there. So you get a shout out if you do this. Isn't that cool? Emil Soderlund, a.k.a. at Ristar Mafarazzo. Made a little comment there in the chat. Thanks for your, your comment. Also, Joseph Skikluna. Also hanging out in that StarCraft 2 chat on the MLG website. Again, guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. Um... I'll still give the Twitch chat a little bit of attention, though. How you guys doing in the Twitch chat? Flare underscore up. Calzex lime smoothie. Would that be good? A lime smoothie? Lime smoothie. Maybe. Yeah, that could be good. Dr. Fink. Joshua Lamar 692. We got Zero Cool SC saying, give me that shirt. We got Shade Cat saying, don't forget me. Axel Toss, Twitch chat needs attention. Demon Statine says, your shirt text looks like it's 3D. Does it? Does it make you dizzy? Eric Cartman, V Lower, Shark SC2. Shark SC2, he, he hangs out here quite a bit. Got some people on Twitter. Also, uh, we got Tiago Carvalho saying, SCB pull Imba, Acer 2-1, Western Wolves. I guess that's what you think innovation is going to do. We got Samuel Keen on Twitter saying, I guess Acer MMA wasn't watching GSTL this morning when Startail Bomber crushed the Blink Stalker move from Tassadar. I guess he wasn't. Nick Rivas, a.k.a. Yamaxinadu, also hit me up on Twitter saying, Axel Toss is such a cutie. Thank you. You are a cutie, maybe. Um, nice. Code Cruncher also retweeting me on Twitter. My tweet was, oh boy, Innovation versus Daisy next. We are live. We are live right now. We are completely live. Unless you're watching this on rebroadcast. Um, we're about to get into Innovation versus Daisy. It's going to be Game 3, Western Wolves versus Acer. To kind of recap what's happened, we started out with MMA versus Czech. MMA able to take that one. And then we had Daisy come in to challenge MMA and took him out with a crafty Blink, blink Stalker play. And now we're going to have Daisy versus Innovation. Innovation. How often do you get to see Innovation Live? Answer that question. You guys should tell your friends, you should tell your parents, maybe your your dog. You know, some people are giving, you know how people are giving their like their five-year-old kids laptops? They're giving their dogs laptops nowadays so they can watch some StarCraft 2. Watch some Acer Team Story Cup. Um, by the way, guys, just to recap, Acer's currently number three in the regular season standings. And Western Wolves is currently number one. So let's see what happened here. It's going to be game three on Whirlwind Ladder Edition. Are you guys ready in the chat? If you'd be so kind, if you're supporting Western Wolves Daisy here in the bottom left, change your color in the Twitch chat to blue. And give me some of your thoughts on the guy. Of course, he's your Protoss player on the bottom left. However, if you're supporting the player in the top left-hand location, the Red Terran player, Team Acer, is innovation. If 
you'd be so kind, change your color to red in the Twitch chat. I want to see who's going to be more favored here. Make a little bit of noise once you do. There we go. See some blue. See some red. Okay. Now don't don't fight each other. You guys can have a nice scholarly discussion in the chat about who's gonna win this. Of course, Iron Man asking, what is this commentary? Gosh! What is it? I don't understand. What is this commentary? <laughs> Alright. Um, this commentary is solo commentary from Axel Tosh. You never know what you get. It's like a box of chocolates. It's like on Halloween when someone carries around a bowl of brains and it's really spaghetti. And you stick your hand in there and you feel a bunch of squishiness. You don't necessarily know what to think. It's like that. This is game three between Acer and Western Wolves. We got Innovation versus Daisy. Pronos versus Terran on Roland Ladder Edition. So last game we saw Daisy be a little bit sneaky. He hit, hit a pylon, hit a Twilight Council, went for a big blink stalker play. Now, MMA wasn't able to scout it, and Daisy did a really good job hiding it. He was a very sneaky sneakster, very crafty, and hiding the, the Blink Stalker play. Now, he is playing against Innovation. Innovation, when he gets late game, turns into a beast. So I'm wondering if Daisy's gonna try some crafty shenanigans in the early game again. We will see. For now, only getting one gas. He should have gotten a second gas right now. So he might, what's he up to? Is he doing a four gate or something? That'd be kind of crazy. The options here are four gate or expansion. Yeah, there's the yeah. So it is going to be a faster expansion. Okay, that's fine. He's going to start warp gate right away, probably warp gate, right? Or is he going to wait for? Oh, he might just get mothership core first. Yeah, there's the mothership core. There's the nexus. Now he's going to get warp gate right now. Boom, boom, boom. Right now. Right now. Oh, he's just like, you know what, Axel Toss? I'm not going to get Warp Gate, bro. Getting a pylon first. Mother Shakur is out. Is he going to get a Stalker first? Right now? The Warp Gate's a pretty important upgrade, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, he's focusing on the pro production, which is fine. There's the Warp Gate. Then we're going to see a Stalker. Right now. Right now? Yeah, there's a Stalker. Okay, meanwhile, Innovation. Getting a natural expansion. Opening up with the Reaper. Being fancy. Scouting out the Nexus at the natural. Scouting out the timing of these gases. Doesn't want to die that much of core. Of course, you don't want to fall down there either. That'd be no fun. He's gonna try to kill some probes here in this mineral line. But, right, you know, he's not really worried about getting too many kills. Just trying to be annoying, trying to identify the tech route of his opponent. Innovation will be back. Two Marines saying, get out of here, probe. You do not belong on this side of the map. Probe's like, I'm sorry, I'm out of here. It's my bad. It's my bad, yo. So from here, innovation is two barracks. Got a reactor and a, and a, a tech lab. Factory should come up momentarily. I would expect. Factory is pretty good because then you can get medevacs out. Of course, stim. Pretty standard to get that. So probably going to wait for some more gas before getting that factory out. He's prioritizing a lot of his resources in the early game here to get some Marines Marauders out. V very safe play. Like It's not like he's going for a crazy fast third command center. Just a very safe middle of the road build here. Two barracks, getting Marines and Marauders. Now he might push, because he knows his opponent for that expansion. In the early game in PvT, the product is all about taking shortcuts to get the tech out. We can see, I mean, Daisy only has two, three stalkers here. So, Innovation's goal here is going to be sneak some units across the map and try to force a photon overcharge. Maybe get some probe kills. Maybe catch a stalker or two. That would be fantastic. That would be fantastic if we could get that done. Uh, behind this, getting a factory. Is he going to get an engineering bay? Yeah, he's got an engineering bay. There it is. Third command center timing will be interesting. So, Daisy. Let's see how he handles this. See, Innovation sees nothing there. He sees Stalkers. Daisy's going to back up. It's a good amount of units here. Photon Overcharge is going to have to deploy. Three Stalkers targeting down the Marauder. Oh, going forward. Dude, going a little bit too far forward there. Don't want to lose a Stalker there. Takes the Marauder. Daisy, be careful. You don't want to lose units right now, my friend. Every stalker you make in the early game is so ridiculously important. Got a Twilight Council on the way as well. Ooh, and a Robo Bay. Plus one armor being researched. Got a, a Robo. Get an Observer out. Send that guy across the map. Oh no, he's just chilling right here with him. So he, he saw those Marines and Marauders. 
Tetsu, he kind of knows the timing. He kind of knows, he, he has a loose idea of what's going on. I feel like he should know that it's the, the two racks opening, so he can kind of know that the the Metavax won't be as fast as they as it could be. Probably also knows that third command center is going to be a little bit delayed, so that he might focus a little bit more on two base, getting the tech up. Researching Blink, I kind of like that. On this map, it's pretty important, especially when it's these positions, because as a Protoss, you're not going to take your third here. You're going to take your third here. And what's really annoying as a Protoss when you're taking your third here is dealing with drops, because drops can go from here to here. So I think getting Blink in this situation is a pretty solid move. Okay. Boats and Overcharge needs to happen. Boats and Overcharge needs to happen. There we go. One probe falling. Marines get a stim and run away. We have an observer here from Daisy trying to keep an eye on what's happening. He sees no gas in the natural, not a huge deal. He sees the rallying units coming forward as well. I have a decent idea of what's going on. There's a scan. What does he see? He sees three additional gateways, he sees the Robo Bay. Doesn't see anything researched. That's actually kind of cool. So he knows his opponent's going Colossus, but he also knows there's no range being researched. So either A, his opponent is doing a push off of one Colossus, or B, his opponent is switching straight in the storm. Or C, his opponent is doing crazy mind games by not getting range, but still making a lot of cross eye. There's range. Okay, so I think Daisy might have. It's hard to say. He might have saw that. He might have originally been planning on going for something, but then saw that scan, so adjusted. There we see a drop in the main. Remember, Blink is about to finish. That's exactly why Daisy got Blink. Boats and Overcharge is not available. Might see a little counter in the main. Class is coming up, saying go away. So what is Innovation thinking? Innovation's thinking, okay, three gates. You got a Robo Bay, he didn't see a range. He's like, okay, you might be doing something two base scary. Scary on two base. But he's gonna keep his opponent at home, drop it in the natural expansion for and overcharge is not available because Daisy did the, use those a little bit earlier. Colossus meandering on over this location. Meanwhile, Innovation behind this, taking a third base, adding in some Vikings, realizing his opponent is going for those Colossi. Want to get those Vikings out to deal with it. No crazy double forge. We got a lot of stalkers being warped in. My target down the stalkers blinking forward, but innovation scooting out of there right on time. Daisy doing a nice job fending this off, but he needs to start thinking about taking a third base. And I feel like he might do that soon. Now that he has two Colossi, going up to three Colossi. Range is gonna finish. Adding on a cannon is natural. I like that decision. The cannon is main. Or excuse me, cannon is main. Should probably add a cannon right here. That'd be cool. Sexy spot. Right here, right here. Or right here, or right here. All good spots for a cannon. But this is definitely gonna be the Nexus you want to take. It'd be kind of crazy taking this Nexus because then you're so vulnerable to drops because your opponent's main is right here. Um, oh, we might just do a two base all in. Let's see, is he even making pro He's only at 46 probes. Daisy's going for the kill. Daisy's going for the kill. He's going for the mega kill. He won't be expanding. He's going for the mega super duper kill. He's got three Colossus. They all have range. A billion Blink Stalkers and Zealots. Innovation is he prepared. He's got three bunkers here on the low ground. Very nicely placed. He's got to be pumping out the Vikings. That's so important right now. We need more Vikings. There we go. Two more Vikings on the way. Can he fend this off? Sticking the Marauders inside the bunkers. Good decision there. Might pull some SCVs to repair. There's a time warp trying to keep those Marines and Marauders from retreating. The Vikings targeting down the Colossi. The Stalkers trying to make something happen. But those bunkers are so strong right now. Keeping that Protoss army at bay. SCVs being pulled. The Vikings trying to target down the Colossi. And look at this. The Marines and Marauders chewing away the Blink Stalkers. And he's going to step forward. Decent force fields, though. From Daisy trying to fend this off. More stalker reinforcements coming up. Innovation saying, you know, I don't want to run through those choke points. I'm dying a little bit too fast. He's going to back up. Still got to be careful. That's a nice bunker. Two Marauders inside. That's very annoying to deal with. Innovation spreading out. Trying to mitigate the effectiveness of those Colossi. Innovation time is on his side. His third base is right here. He's mining for me. He's okay staying right here at this location. It's up to Daisy to apply the pressure. Warping in more Zealots. Warping in more Stalkers. Daisy trying to go for the kill. But Innovation, is he a little bit too ready for this? It looks like he might be. Look at this concave. More Vikings pumping out. We got some more medevacs on the way as well. Innovation biding his time. He's a patient man. There's no reason to overextend from Innovation standpoint. Again, time is on his side. Side, he's scanning, trying to see what's going on. What I would, what I might do is try to pick up some guys into a medevac and go for a drop. Reason Rod is coming forward. Look out for the force fields. Decent force fields there on the ramp. Innovation could just back up, taking down one Colossus. Only one Colossus left. And that guy might get taken out too. Yes, he will. Only Stalkers remaining. And Blink Stalkers against 1-1 Marine Murata with medevac support overhead will do absolutely nothing. Innovation kiting forward, cleaning up every single Protoss unit. And Daisy's going to back away with his tail between his legs. Innovation 
Nice hold there. What was so cool about that, the three bunkers right there, perfectly placed. Innovation staying patient, spreading out those units across this area, waiting for Daisy to engage. And now that the Colossi are gone, what can Daisy do? MMA on the verge of bringing Acer to a 2-1 advantage in this best of nine team fight. There's the GG from Daisy. Innovation takes Daisy out, playing very patiently, very solidly. And Daisy will be left wondering what went wrong. I'll tell you what went wrong. Um, did I say MMA? I meant innovation. Come on, guys. Thanks for keeping me honest. You know what I meant. They're both Terran players on Team Acer. Yes, that was innovation. I feel like I've been saying innovation. I said MMA. I apologize. Um, so, MMA. What? Innovation. <laughs> innovation taking down Daisy. See, I have MMA written down on my notepad right here, so maybe that was what I was looking at. So, innovation taking out Daisy. Going to bring Acer up 2-1. Now, the question is, who is Western Wolves going to send out? to face off against Innovation. Um, very straightforward game there. Daisy went forward, just a nice two base, Blink Stalker, Colossi all in. Got three Colossi, got range, pushed, tried to win. MMA, Innovation, read it correctly, got three bunkers down, filled them with Marauders, great positioning. And Innovation is gonna be move, moving on to the next game to face off whoever Western Wolves decides to send out. Guys, you're watching the Acer Team Story Cup. Acer versus Western Wolves. Acer up 2-1. Innovation looking pretty good. We're going to take a quick break, and we'll be back in the next game.